Hello and welcome. We will continue with the part 2 of the ASP.NET Core application that we have made, uh, made in the first part. Now we will add a data model today. So in the right click in the solution explorer on the razor pages movie project I will right click and add a new folder and name it models in the models folder I will have to add a class and name this class movie in the movie class I will replace the entire content from the clipboard and it will create a class movie next I will scaffold the movie model so what I will do is I will create within the pages directory a movies folder add a new folder and make it give it the name movies and in the movies folder I will right click and add new scaffolded item click on add again in the model class I will highlight movie and then in the plus icon I will go for the default click on add click on add again take a v while before the item is scaffolded So it's all folded. So you have, you will see that it has within the movies directory. It has created quite a few files. Of create dot html delete details edit and index files, and it will be detailed. These files will be detailed in the next tutorial, and it has also created a data folder in which there is a razor movie, razor pages movie context dot cs class, and two of these files are updated startup.cs and appsetting.json file so startup cs startup.cs file changes to this file are detailed in the next section and this appsettings.json file this one the correction string is used to connect to it local database is added so this is the connection string basically this is the connection string to connect to the local database right great now the ASP.NET core is built with dependency injection services such as the EF core DB context are registered with the dependency injection during application startup the component that require these services typically the razor pages are provided these services by constructor parameters the constructor code that gets a DB context instance is shown later in the tutorial now this scaffolding tool automatically created a DB context and registered it with the dependency injection container now this will be obvious if we look at the startup dot configuration services Um, public void configure services and we will see let us highlight this one this is the database context class razor pages movie context 
Now, the main class that coordinates EF core functionality for a given data model is the DB context class. That is the DB context class. The data context is derived from the Microsoft dot entity framework core dot DB context class. The data context specifies which entities are included in the data model and in this project this class is named as razor pages movie context all right and then you can examine a little this code creates a db set movie property for the entity set in ef terminology an entity set typically corresponds to a database table an entity corresponds to a row in the that table the name of the connection string is passed into the context by calling a method on the db context options object for local development asp.net core configuration system reads the connection string from the app settings.json file this one now we will have to perform an initial migration so how will we do the initial migration now from the tools menu I will click on uh, you get package manager and then click on package manager console in the package manager console I'll have to add these two lines paste it add migration initial and then update database The add migration command generates codes to create the initial database schema. That is this one. This command does this. The update database command runs the up method. This is the up method in the migration slash timestamp initial create.cs file which creates the database now we'll that's all we'll just test that now in browse to movies create new the good, the bad, then the ugly is your release date 30th of the 5th month of this year with a time say 12 am and we will fill these other fields John or Western say a price of 1.19 any fictitious and click on create so it is it has created that and we will just examine the edit so you will be able to edit if you wish to change the price to 2 point something 3 0 and if you want to change the genre from western to eastern or whatever you like it can be saved it can be edited okay and this is the details it clicks on back to the list that's it thank you very much